Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a hairstyle that we thought would be cute for homecoming or any formal occasion. I started with a side part and then I'm going to grab a section just right off of that. Now before I move on to the next section, I'm going to grab this and pull it out a little bit and I'm just going to make sure that the front looks the way I want it to before I move on. Now what I'm going to do is brush all of her hair over to the side just so that it's easier to grab for the next part. And then I'm going to take this first ponytail and just clip it out of the way. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab the next section just directly under that first one. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the top and unclip this first section and we're going to split it in half. And then I'm going to bring the second ponytail up through the center of that and again just clip it out of the way. Now I'm going to combine these first two pieces from the first ponytail with our next section of hair. So I'm just going to keep going in that pattern, but before I split this one in half, I am going to take some hair out and we're going to make our first little rosette right here. So you'll just want to decide where you want to place your roses and remove a strand of hair for that before you move on. So as you can see, I added all of her remaining hair to this ponytail here. And at this point, I'm going to go back and stretch out these pieces before I get too much further. So at this point, I have this one piece left that I'm going to make the first little rosette with, and then I'm going to want another one right here at the base of her neck. So I'll leave another one out here, and then I'm just going to complete the pull-through braid all the way down. And then here on this last one, I'm just going to combine everything together. All right, now that this braid is done, I'm going to go back to these two pieces that I left out and I'm going to make our little rosettes. I'm taking this hair and splitting it into three and I'm going to make a regular braid. At this point, you can decide if you want to stretch your braid out and make more of a fluffy looking flower or if you want it more tight. I'm going to leave ours tight because the rest of this braid is fluffy and I think it will be more of a contrast if we leave this tight. So I'm just going to take the end of this and roll it up into a flower and then we'll pin it into place in the center of the pull through braid. As I'm rolling it, I'm not really worrying about these ends. I'm going to tuck those in later. I'm basically just making sure that the rolled part looks how I want it to. Now that I have it rolled up to the top, I can take these ends and just kind of tuck them underneath as I'm pinning that into place. Now I'm going to take the second one and just do it the exact same way. Thanks for watching our homecoming hairstyle. See you next week.